What's up guys, this is Jake from Fish Tech and today we're gonna to be talking about some custom trackpad gestures that you can use in Mac OS uh, and we're gonna be using Better Touch Tool to customize these. All right, so we're in Better Touch Tool. If you'd like to learn more about this program and what it can do, there's a couple videos in the description that you can check out. It's I use it mainly for the touch bar, but there are definitely other things that we're going to explore like right now, which is using the trackpad to set custom gestures. So we're gonna go up to the top, you'll see this touch bar, and we're gonna select trackpad. And then this is going to bring us to all our programs that we have trackpad gestures for. So right now, all I have is Google Chrome and then the global setting. So I'm gonna go over everything that we need to do to get this stuff set up and how to learn to do this yourself. So we'll start with the Google Chrome settings because that's probably gonna be a little bit easier. So there's gonna be nothing here. In order to add a new one, you're just gonna click this plus button. You're gonna select a trigger. And this is the pretty cool part. There are so many gestures that you can do. And we'll go through these. We got the uh, some corner clicks, one tap top, <laughs> and there's also tip taps. You're gonna have to learn uh, learn these gestures, but Generally, I try and keep it pretty simple. You can look through and and do these and figure them out. I will say that uh, the the tip tap. So we can go we can go over the tip tap. We'll set a tip tap left, and then once you set the gesture, you can either click right here or you can click this plus button, and we're going to set an action. So now we are in all of the possibilities that we can do once we do the gesture. So for now, I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, we will do a keyboard shortcut. And just to show what, what you know, the possibilities, uh, we'll just open Spotlight. So that would be Command and the spacebar. So now, whenever we do a tip tap left, one finger fix, it's gonna do the command spacebar to open up spotlight. So in order to do the tip tap left, you're gonna have to have your middle finger on the touchpad, and then you're going to, oh, why isn't it working? Oh, that's because we're, we're not in the global, we're in um, Google Chrome. So because it's app specific, we're gonna have to go to Google Chrome, and then we're gonna have your middle finger down, and then you're gonna tap with your left index finger. So spotlight just popped up, do it again, boom, tip tap. So your middle finger will have to be down, and that's how you do that. The two finger tip tap is the same exact thing, except you're gonna have two fingers on the touchpad, and then you'll tap with one finger. And then it has, it also has uh, left and right, so I use the trackpad with my right hand, so uh, using the left finger tip tap is going to be a lot easier for me if you use it with your left hand than the right finger tip tap because it's going to use your uh, your pointer finger for that. And then as we continue to go on, we have more gestures. There's three finger gestures. And the, and the thing to keep in mind is we're going to have to go into the uh, system preferences of Mac OS and we're going to have to adjust some of these. So to do that, you just open up System Preferences, and then you'll click Trackpad, and it'll bring you to here. So we're gonna start with the more gestures. The App Exposé, I usually, I have been keeping that off. And the reason for that is because I'm changing the swipe down. I don't use the swipe down normally, the three finger swipe down. So I switched that as a global setting to hide the current app that is uh, highlighted. So. That's just because I don't normally use this. You're gonna have to come up, swipe between full screen apps. I changed this from three fingers to four fingers, and I'll show you why in a second. I don't use the swiping between full screen apps too much, and if I do, the four finger swipe is enough of a uh, same, similar thing that it's like, oh, it's not that big of a change. So now you can go through these and check them, but that's all we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this real quick. So we're gonna dive into these Google Chrome specific gestures. I only have three of them, and these actually came from a guy, a guy called Imtimet. 
and I'll leave his link in the description, but I really liked them and I thought they were useful, so I started using them. So we're gonna go into Google Chrome. So we have a, a three finger tap and that's going to simulate a command click, which is going to open a new link in a, in a new tab. And then we're gonna have a three finger swipe left and a three finger swipe right. And that's why we just adjusted that in the Mac OS settings. So just to clarify how to set this up, you're gonna add a new three finger swipe right and then you're going to add an action to it and you're gonna send a keyboard shortcut to it. So for the three finger swipe to the right, we are going to want to have control tab. That's what those two symbols are. So you're gonna press control tab and it's gonna pop up there and that's going to push forward to the next tab in your Chrome and then the three finger swipe left is the same thing except you're going to hold shift as well. So it's going to be shift control tab and then that's going to reverse the movement. So if we go into Google Chrome, we can go up into anything and we can three finger tap and you can see it just opened up in a new tab and then you can three finger swipe over. Whoop. And you can continue to three finger swipe over. And that's how you can navigate your tabs. And I found this to be actually a lot easier. It's like, boom, oh, Newpin open, boom. Peter McKinnon, boom, next tab. <laughs> it's just, it's fun to use and it's quick. It's so much faster than like, oh, gotta go up here. Unless, you know, you have like 20 tabs open and you need, you're on this one and you gotta get all the way to the other end. In that case, yeah, you can use the mouse, but just for quick open slide over, this is gonna be so much faster. We're actually gonna jump back into the better touch tool configurations because there's something that we need to adjust. So originally when you add these triggers, you're gonna to wanna to go into your trackpad settings and there's gonna be a whole host of settings that you can customize that are gonna be super important to how well your gestures are gonna be working. Um, so in general, we don't have to pay attention to general the palm and thumb recognition, leave that as is. The force touchpad, you can, there are force touchpad gestures that you can get into. I didn't set any up, but you can adjust the sensitivity here. The clicks, perfectly fine, but the swipes are what we're gonna wanna get into. So when I originally made these gestures, I found that they were, this was at probably about uh, 0.3 and I found that that was too much towards the hard to trigger side. Uh, I found that I had to really emphasize dragging my hand across. So I then moved it to 0.1 and it worked wonderfully for the Google Chrome tabs. Makes it so easy to just boom, boom, boom. But I also have the three fingers swipe down as the hide. And I found that the point one was a little too sensitive. So I've been hovering around between 0.15 and 0.2, usually landing on the 0.2, which is okay. The other thing is for the tippy taps, you're going to definitely want to go into the, the tippy tap section. And these were about, I can't remember what these were on. I set them to 0.25-ish, and I found that those were much easier to activate. Just bring that sensitivity down, lets you activate them a lot easier. And that was really the only settings that we had to, that I had to adjust to make it work a lot better. So we got the Google Chrome settings. Now on the all apps, this was just a cool, <laughs> a fun little thing that I input. So you can set up a custom tap sequence. And this is for for uh, four. So I'll show you. We'll we'll go through this right now. You're gonna select a trigger. You're gonna go to your own, and then you're gonna click configure tap sequence. So now you're gonna decide. Okay, what finger do I want to touch first? So on this tap se sequence here, I did the rightmost finger, and then the the finger the second finger, and then the leftmost finger as the last one. And I was just messing around, so what I did for that, so this is the same thing, I'm just gonna get rid of it so it doesn't counteract this. The 
we did the move mouse to position. So I set the I set this to trigger the mouse position to end up right in the center. So if you can't find your mouse, then you go boom, 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 boom. There it is in the middle. So the mouse could be anywhere, and as long as you go boom, 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 boom with the four fingers, boom, 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 and it's kind of fun. I used to do this in school when I was like a little kid, and you know, you tap your fingers. It's easy. It's it's fluid. Sometimes if you do it too fast, it won't do it. But as long as it's nothing crazy, it always goes back to the center. So I thought that was uh, and just a fun little thing to do. And there's there are so many other actions that you can that you can do. You can literally you can launch apps you can resize windows you can do actions utility actions you can launch websites it's it's endless of how many actions you can do and how many triggers you can set up there are hundreds of triggers and it gets overwhelming not only can you set up your own gestures but uh, you can actually draw your own gestures which is very cool so I have a three finger swipe down set to just close the window. That's just sometimes I have so many things open and I always go up here and I'm like, uh, hit the little yell button. Now it's just bang, get out of there. <laughs> but we need that. So, and then this last one was just the uh, tip. <laughs> you can do a tip swipe, not a, not just a tip tap, a tip swipe, which is actually very difficult to use practically, I don't recommend using this at all, but you basically have, you got two fingers down and then you tap with the left and then you swipe down quick. And I have that set to spotlight right now, but it just, uh, it's it's very, it's hard to do consistently. See, I can't even do it right now. Boom, nope. Come on, come on. Yeah, see, it's, it's just not worth it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna toss that. So. Those are basically all the gestures that I set up. You can also add modifiers to all of these. So you can add, you can have it only be triggered when you're holding shift, FN, control, option, or command. So it's just like all of the other touch bar options. You can ha uh, add modifiers to it. Um, aside from that, uh, you can you can set where you want it to trigger. There are trigger conditions, haptic feedback, and and there's just so many so many things. From here, you guys can go and add them to your own applications. Uh, so in order to do that, you're just going to come down here. You can select an app from the file system, or you can do uh, a running app. So you know, let's say I wanted. Uh, an Adobe Audition gestures. Add the program over here. Make sure you're still in this the trackpad. And then you're going to add, select your trigger. I want a five finger tap. We'll just do like command B or something. I don't know what that does. But now when you go into Audition and you do that five finger tap, boom, it's going to do that command B. So that's basically all that I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, make sure to leave a comment down below asking. I will try and answer every single question that you guys put down there. If you liked this video, make sure to like it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. But all I ask is that you comment down below why you didn't like it and so I can improve and get better. And that's all I got for you guys. Peace.